The ancient mythology of Greece is a rich, swirling maelstrom of narratives where gods walk the earth, heroes defy the odds, and mortals dare to dream of glory and honor. One such tale that has stood the test of time and echoes across millennia is the saga of Jason and his quest for the Golden Fleece. This intricate epic has it all – adventure, treachery, love, and the unquenchable thirst for glory. Let's set sail on this long voyage and explore the myriad facets of this enduring story. Jason was born the rightful prince of Lolkos, yet his royal birthright was steeped in turmoil from the start. His throne was unlawfully seized by his uncle, Peleus, who feared a prophecy predicting his doom at the hands of Aeson's child. Peleus sought to extinguish this threat by killing the infant Jason, but destiny had other plans. The young prince was whisked away and entrusted to the care of the wise centaur, Sharon. In the seclusion of the idyllic mountains, Sharon raised Jason, educating him in the arts of wisdom, warfare, and honor. Unbeknownst to him, he was being groomed for a destiny that was as shining as it was perilous. Jason grew into a noble and capable man, his royal heritage lying dormant within him, waiting for the right moment to be unveiled. That moment arrived when Jason, now a robust young man, decided to venture to Lolkos to claim his birthright. On this journey, an encounter with an old woman at a river set the stage for the great adventure that was to unfold. The old woman was none other than the goddess Hera in disguise, testing the mettle of the man who would soon embark on a quest that would make him a legend. His act of kindness towards Hera, however, came with the cost of losing one of his sandals. Upon his arrival in Lolkos, Jason's one-sandaled presence alarmed Peleus, for it fit the prophecy he feared. Yet instead of killing Jason, Peleus devised a cunning plan. He set an almost impossible task for Jason – to retrieve the Golden Fleece from the distant land of Colchis. This artifact, known for its divine favor and symbolic power, was guarded by a formidable dragon and the journey itself was filled with deadly perils that would challenge even the bravest. Jason, unflinching in the face of this daunting task, set about gathering a group of heroes for this voyage. Known as the Argonauts, named after their ship, Argo, this band of Greek heroes included the likes of Hercules, Orpheus, and Atalanta. They embarked on a voyage that would take them through countless trials, tribulations, and tests of their courage and resourcefulness. During their quest, the Argonauts faced and overcame numerous challenges, from battling harpies to navigating through the dangerous clashing rocks. They were sidetracked on the island of Lemnos, where a society of women lived, separated from the men in their lives. Yet through each challenge, the Argonauts prevailed, their eyes set on the goal, the Golden Fleece. Upon reaching Colchis, Jason's trials were far from over. King Aetus, unwilling to part with the Golden Fleece, set Jason three Herculean tasks. Jason was to tame fire-breathing bulls, so a field with dragon's teeth from which sprouted a legion of formidable warriors, and overcome these warriors. It seemed as if Jason's quest was doomed, but as with all great myths, fate had another twist in store. Aetis' daughter, Medea, a skilled sorceress, found herself bewitched by love for Jason. Guided by her passion, she used her magic to assist Jason, ensuring his victory over the fiery bulls and the warrior crop sprung from dragon's teeth. With Medea's aid, Jason performed the tasks, tamed the warriors, and eventually lulled the dragon guarding the fleece to sleep. He retrieved the Golden Fleece and, together with Medea, made a hasty escape from Colchis. They were pursued by Aetis' men and later by Absurdus, Medea's brother. In desperation, Medea killed her brother and scattered his pieces in the sea, delaying their pursuers and securing their escape. The triumphant return to Lolkos, however, did not bring the joyous conclusion Jason had envisioned. Peleus refused to relinquish the throne, 
leading to further conflict and bloodshed. Medea, in her love for Jason, contrived a ruthless scheme to remove Peleus. She tricked his daughters into killing him, thinking they could resurrect their father just as the Golden Fleece had revived the ram it came from. Despite the treachery that resulted in him reclaiming his throne, Jason's rule was short-lived. He and Medea were driven out of Lolkos by the vengeful children of Peleus, and their relationship soon deteriorated. Jason was eventually left alone, a fallen hero whose glory days were behind him. The tragic end of Jason serves as a stark reminder that victories won through deceit often bear a bitter aftertaste. Thus ends the saga of Jason, a tale woven with the threads of ambition, treachery, love, and the pursuit of glory. It is an epic that highlights the lengths a hero can go to reclaim what is rightfully his, the trials he is willing to endure, and the sacrifices he is prepared to make. Yet it also underscores the consequences of deceit, the price one pays for glory achieved through questionable means. Through the unfolding of Jason's story, we are reminded that our quests, our victories, and our defeats are an integral part of the human experience. As we carry this tale with us, let us not forget the lessons it imparts about ambition, heroism, and the human capacity for both nobility and folly. After all, we navigate our own personal quests daily, forging our paths through the labyrinth of life, hopefully guided by the wisdom gleaned from such timeless tales. As we delve into these stories, we learn not just about the heroes and gods of ancient times, but about ourselves and the world we inhabit. So, like the Argonauts, let us sail on, ever seeking, ever daring, ever venturing into the unknown.